Hello, Ankan, and welcome. I'm glad that you are taking the time to join us for this interview. Um, and I have a couple of questions. My first question to you would be, what was the first time that you became aware that um, there is something like a universal code of conduct that is going to be drafted? Uh, thank you, and I'm pleased to be a part of the whole conversation. So thank you for your question. Uh, actually, I became aware of it from you. I came to know that uh, there will be a set of code of conduct for me, and there will be a representative uh, who will convey your message to the community and to make sure that they participate and carry the voice of the community to the foundation. Uh, later, uh, Neha also contacted me, and we had a wonderful discussion where I expressed my views regarding universal code of conduct. And at that time, I came to know about the universal code of conduct in a more detailed manner. I hope that answers to your question. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, now we are quite a few steps farther on the way. And I would be interested in what you think if actually a universal code of conduct is going to become effective end of this year is the planning at the moment. Um, how do you think it would impact your community on your home wiki, the Bengali Wikipedia? Okay, uh, yeah. So, you know, uh, Bengali Wikipedia is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, in 2004, it started its journey. And in July 2014, we had like uh, 31,000 articles. And in this year, in the month of July, we had 92,000 articles. So you see the movement is getting bigger and bigger. And at the initial days, we knew everything in person in like one way or another, but nowadays it is not possible. And it is inevitable. So now there are some people uh, who do not like the tranquil environment of Wikipedia that much, and they want to increase the entropy. So sometimes they violate the policy. And before uh, we had like, policies from English Wikipedia mainly. And so the best, to the best of my knowledge, we didn't have any policies for Bengali Wikipedia of its own. So people thought that uh, they're actually not for us. Maybe they were formed by some uh, other people without our participation. And to be in, to be said in one word that they didn't have the universal in their name, which it has now. So. And our community also took part in that discussion uh, regarding the Universal Code of Conduct. So it is ours as well. So people feel it that it is their own and hopefully more than they felt it before. So I think that it will have a great impact in our community to combat the violations, to take immediate actions and to increase the amiability between the community members. That is super interesting. Uh, do you think things will also change when people from your community go to other, also the larger projects like English Wikipedia, for example, or Commons, Wikidata, all those other Wikimedia projects? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, there are some Wikipedians who are experienced because their duration of their accounts is like uh, long, and but actually they just come edit something and may create one or two articles and they do log out. They actually do not take part in the, uh, what can I say, in the discussions. And therefore, some of them do not have a sound knowledge about the policy. And it is totally okay. It's their choice what they will do in Wikipedia. And often we in Bengali Wikipedia are lenient toward those Wikipedians who sometimes maybe are not doing accurately what they should, but they're contributing Wikipedia. So we are lenient towards them because we, do, we are not a very large community. But the thing is not uh, like the same in large Wikipedia, like say English Wikipedia or some other Wikipedias, because uh, they are not that much tolerant if people violate something and they take immediate actions. So we actually tolerate it up to a certain margin, I must say. And But big Wikipedia, uh, the situation is not the same. So what happens may some of Wikipedians often get blocked because they may be, they may violate one or two topics. And so I hope that after forming the universal code of conduct, they will come to know about the policies in a better manner. 
people learned to respect them in a uh, in a large manner than they did it in before because now it is ours and their community i mean bengali community has also taken a part in the whole discussion so i think it will improve their contribution in other wikipedias as well let's hope that it really works out that well yes um do you have any other thoughts, um, any other thing that you would like to share about the concept of a universal code of conduct? Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I think these questions may have multiple answers, but I will share the one that just immediately comes into my mind. Uh, in one word, the idea of universal code of conduct is just wonderful. Uh, it, it is a prime need of the whole movement. I have shared the statistics of Bengali Wikipedia that how much big it has been over the years. And the same thing works also for the other Wikipedias and the whole movement is getting exponentially bigger day by day. So it is a prime need that we need some universal code of conduct to be formed by every community. There were some policies before the formation, but they are not universal in nature. And in some Wikipedia people actually do not follow that much. So I want it that uh, the team makes it sure that the people from all over the chapters, from all over the community, from all over the world know about that a universal code of conduct is formed. Because if they do not know about it clearly, uh, there will be violations. And so I think after the formation, we can have some discussions, uh, some offline discussions that will, that will occur after the formation of universal code of conduct so that people actually do and what they shouldn't. Maybe uh, in some week, in some community, they do not think that it is a big manner if, if they share something personal to them, but it is, it is a big man, uh, matter if they share something publicly without uh, the permission of someone, uh, the discussion maybe happened in a personal manner. So they should not share that. And these people need to know about all these things. So I want, and I hope that the team, the foundation has a clearer idea than I am sharing with you. But I'm just, it is my concern that the people knows about it and they can make a very good environment, a very good weekend environment. So I actually hope that, thank you. Thank you, I hear you that you say it's not just drafting the universal code of conduct. It's not just putting it up somewhere on Wiki what is important, but that there is a high importance to engage communities around the world to teach about the universal code of conduct, to get people to really understand its meaning and to ensure that it is followed. Did I understand this correctly? Thank you. Yeah, perfect. So thank you very much for those insights. Welcome. It's my pleasure to be a part of it.